doing is Jeff back again with another Iron Maiden tutorial and this time we're looking of course at Flash of the Blade from the Power Slayer album. Uh, not a bad song to play, it's got a few fun quirky parts to this. Probably going to be more intermediate than beginner intermediate because of the little section in the middle, the little harmony section that we're going to be looking at that involves a little bit of fast control picking. But the rest of the song isn't too bad at all to play. If this is your first time to the channel, hi, how are you doing? It's great to see you. Know you're going to enjoy this if you are a big Iron Maiden fan. In fact, new wave of British heavy metal. It does seem to be a little niche that's developing here on this channel. But you can play, it's great fun, great fun to play. If you do like it, why not? Click on that subscribe button. Click on the bell, and I believe you've got to click on it twice. That way you're going to be notified whenever I'm posting anything new to the channel. Well, that's enough of the plugs. Let's just get into this, and let me show you how to play Flash of the Blade. So don't go away. Preview. Right, let's have a look at that opening riff. I'll just play through and then we'll break it down. Okay, we're going to start off on the 7th fret on the D string and we're going to hammer on that for one bar is going to be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... We're going to repeat that. All we're doing, we're just hammering on from nowhere on the seventh fret and then pulling off. Now I've got my faithful little string deadener here. It just stops the other string just ringing out as you're doing that because there's a tendency to hit them as you're doing it. And you can also do what I'm doing here. I'm also holding down with my fingers on the A and the G string either side of it so we get more of a cleaner sound. And from there we're going to move up to the 8th fret and we're just going to do that for one bar so we're just uh, hitting that 8 four times. Moving up to the 10th fret, same thing, one bar on that. And then we repeat. Main thing is to keep that timing going because it's one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four. Just a continual beat, just keep it up nice and even when we're playing that. Now, you're going to be playing this for a long, long time. In fact, if I just look down here, you are playing this four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times. Now on the final one, there is a change. You're going to do that two bars on the... Go up to the eight. And then you go down to the five. And from there, we then into the main part, which is also the verse section, which is going to be over power chords, which is what we're going to look at now. So I'll just play through and then I'll break it down. doing there we're going to start over an A5 chord and we're just going to play the A5 and then we're just doing alternating picking and we do a C5 chord down to a B5 B flat 5 F chord And then we got this riff which is going. What I'm playing there, I am playing first fret, open, third fret, 
all on the E string, and then I'm playing on the A string, three, two. And then I play a three on the low E, and then an A5 chord. Played that, we have a break of uh, two counts, and then we back in doing that. You're going to play on that sequence twice, and then we go into this part, which I'll just play you through. I'm doing that I'm starting off on a D5 and I do a D5 drop down to the fourth fret on the A string and back up to a D5 to an E5 we do the same sequence but this time I'm going from a 7 6 7 to a C5 and then I do a same sequence again, I'm going from a three to a three, three to three. And then I'm going to play a G. Drop that finger down, so it's going down to the second fret, to an E. And then I repeat. From there we go back to that sequence. And this time you're going to play that whole sequence through, you're going to do that four times, but on this one, at the end of it you don't get down to the five, you just stay going through that seven, eight to the ten. And then you go back to your original part which was over that A. Play that twice and then back into. We play that. Now, what we're going to do is look at what Adrian Smith is playing while Dave Murray has been playing all the parts that we just looked at. Now, over that intro, which is going over that, that section there, this is what Adrian Smith is playing. So I'll just play it through. What we're playing there, kind of very heavy sounding chord there, we are playing across a D5 to start with, but we are also including the A5 fret. So I'm playing 5, 5, 7, E, A and D. I get that real deep. Real big powerful power chord there. So we start off on that. So we're playing, uh, we can even see it as a D5. Uh, but we are playing from 5 fret in that shape because we're going to keep this whole shape all the way through. So I'm playing 5 fret. 1, 2, 3, 4, move up. 1 fret to a 6. Down to a G. Back up to the 5. Then I move down to 1st fret. Up to 3rd fret. And I'll repeat. So that gets played behind that continual cycle of the, uh, the hammer on the pull-off section. For the next parts, then Adrian Smith follows exactly what I've just shown you, playing alongside Dave Murray. 
Uh, he even starts to play all the little hammer on a pull offs when we go into the second part where we play that uh, D string doing the 7, 8, 10. Play from all that until we get to the first bridge or the first break, which is that very classical orientated riff. So let's go and check out what Dave Murray's playing through that part. So I'll just play through and then I'll break it down. quite a little bit of energetic picking going on there. All of it is alternating picking. Now the sequence that we're playing is this. That's on the first one, and what I'm playing there is five, open, five. So the first sequence which we're gonna play twice is starting on the five fret on the high E string. And we're playing five, open string, five, seven, eight, seven, five, oh. We move up to the seventh fret and we're going to play this, which is just across uh, seven, open string, and then seven. Eight, ten, seven, uh, sorry, eight, seven, open. And then we get this sequence, which is going ten, eight, seven, to open, and then eight, seven, five, open. So we get. And then we repeat. Now, uh, the speed that you're going to be playing now, obviously, is a little bit slower than what I've just played there. Quite quick, so you've got to really get that picking hand going over that beat of playing in the A's. So we're going to play through that sequence three times and then we're going to go into two more of doing this. And then we've got a triplet rundown which is 8, 7, 5 on that high E string. And then it's 8, 6, 5. And then we're going to play 7, 5, 4 on the G. And then on the D string we're doing 7, 5, 3. And that's all triplets, so that end section would go like this. Now, behind that, or should I say over the top of that, Adrian Smith is playing a harmony with that. And what he's playing there is moving across this figure. What I'm playing there is eight, uh, I'm doing an eight on the high E string, again it's all on the high E string, eight, open string, eight, ten, twelve, ten, eight, open. And then I'm going, uh, playing the same pattern, I'm playing a ten, back to the ten, twelve, 13, 12, 10, open. So again. And then we are playing 13, 12, 10. And then I've got, uh, which is 12, 10, 8, open. So that section.
So the triplet run that Adrian is playing to create the harmony is 12, 10, 8 on the high E string. B string, same thing, 12, 10, 8. Change to the G string, and it is 10, 9, 7. Change to the D string, 10, 9, 7. So we get. From there we go to which is my favourite part of the song, uh, a nice little shifting movement of triads that we're going to be playing across. It's got a nice little theme to it. So what I'm going to do, I'll just play it through and then I'll break it down. <laughs> start off sliding up to the 9th fret on the D string, uh, down to the 7 and then finishing on the 9 on the A. We're going to cross over to the B string and we're going to do an 8-7 on the B string and then holding down 7, so I do a double stop on the 7 on the G. Move across to the B string and then we're going to do a full tone bend on the 10th fret back to the 10 and then 8 7 we put that together now we're going to go to the G string we're going to slide up to the 6th fret down to the 4 and finish on the 6 on the D so it's the same as what we played just in a different position across two different strings now we get now the next part we're going to slide up to 10 on the B string and we're going to go 10, 9 and then 9 on the G string. And then cross over to the fifth, uh, the 10th fret on the high E string and we're going to play a full tone bend on the 10, back to the 10 and then 9 and then 7. So same phrase again. From there we are going to do a 8, 7 and then cross to the 7 on the G string. You got this. We do that three times, finishing onto the 5 on the G. Now at this point we're going to start repeating ourselves. And we go back to that initial one which was a slide into the 9 on the D. And we're going to play that whole sequence twice. So we get this. Then we go to the one that we played, which is on the G string to the D. And then we're doing this little part again on the B string across to the G, which was that 8, 7, across to the 7. So then going down to the 5, though, we're going to go to 12 and a high E string, full tone bend. Then we go to our initial one again, and we're going to play. And the final one, we then come back and we play the one that we played at the beginning, which was sliding up to nine on the D string. Finishing on the seven. Now from there, we then go back and we're going to play that. We play that all the way through again. From there, we then go back and we repeat the whole of the classical section. Play that in its entirety and then come out through the triplets. Then we go back to this section. Play that all the way through and then we are back to the outro. that takes us to the end of the track. So we have covered 
all of the sections. There is no uh, like a lead guitar improvised solo in this. The solo really is that little classical section with the dual harmony phase through it. Then of course we then go into that set piece lead that we leaving up and down the fretboard. But that's it. Not too bad. I'm not going to call this one uh, beginner intermediate because of that picking pattern in the middle. Um, both guitars are playing it, so it's not as though I can say you can play these chords behind to play the rhythm. So that one does take some time to get that going with the speed and the connection between the fingers and the cohesion between the fingers and the picking action. But apart from that, everything's fine. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Flash of the Blade. It's a fun song. Oh, I've played it quite a few times. I even heard the Iron Maidens playing this live as well. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to let you go, let you get into the song. And, and Well, that is all of the sections of the song covered. Uh, there is no... Well, that is all of the sections of the song covered. Well, that is all of the sections of the song covered. Not too hard, uh, apart from our middle section with the picking pattern. That is the difficulty. That's why I'm not really going to call this beginner intermediate. Really, you'd be looking at intermediate level um, to get that picking pattern going, uh, to get the synchronization between the fingers and that picking as you're doing that alternating. That does take a little bit of work. But apart from that section, the rest of it isn't too bad at all and quite good fun to play. Anyway, I'm going to let you go and let you get into this song and then you'll learn how to play it. But until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker wishing you well and I'll speak to you all again soon. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>